Hi there, guys. It's Stephanie, and welcome to my DIY dollar store decoration, the Kentucky Derby edition. So I'll go ahead and just let you guys know I'm a Kentuckian. I'm a fan of the Kentucky Derby. So if you're searching for Kentucky Derby items in your local town, they may be hard to find. Most of these items I had to make myself. So I went for the horses and roses theme, as you can see. I started with this awesome tablecloth with one of the dollar store white tablecloths under it. That that really highlights the white of the tablecloth since that actual outside table is green. We have the silver cups with the roses. You can probably see a little bit. In order to get those roses to stand evenly, I wrap them in a cloth and stuff them in there. And then I glued the silver bucket to a candelabra. And here was the centerpiece. I took toy horses from the dollar store. I painted the large ones with black chalk paint. The other three, I left the colors they had. And then I had small pieces of mirror that I broke up and I glued the horse with hot glue to the mirror. I used the fake grass and glued that under the horse, which is also great because it hides the hot glue remnants. The silver trays I got from the dollar store. The little trophies I actually got at the dollar store in the toy section as well. I spray painted those with a can of aluminum colored spray paint that I got from the Dollar General. And here you have the red placemat, which is the base of the plating, followed by the silver charger, and of course the white doily. And then those plates I actually did get from the Dollar Tree, and topped off with a rose napkin holder. The actual napkin holder is wooden, and I wrapped red ribbon around that and hot glued it and then hot glued one of the artificial flowers I got from the Dollar Tree. So I went with the roses and horses theme. Horses, obvi, because it's the Derby. The use of roses was actually first established as part of the Derby celebration when they were presented to all of the ladies attending the Derby in Louisville in 1883. And the roses were a huge sensation, and so the president of Churchill Downs, which is the stadium where the Kentucky Derby actually takes place, he adopted the rose as the race's official flower. And that is why roses are now associated so heavily with the Kentucky Derby. The silver cup situation for the Kentucky Derby is actually correlated with the mint juleps that are served in a silver pewter cup. The reason mint juleps are served in the silver cup is because they want to keep the mint julep drink really cold. It's served with shaved ice. So I've got my three candelabras, my three silver buckets, my three buckets of roses. You can see my plates. I also put a dollar store tablecloth that I folded as a red runner. I thought that was just like a nice pop as I like to do, I wanted to get the ambiance. So this was our little side table where we put our little silver tray. That is a dollar store toy horse. Actually, it was unicorn, guys, and I cut off the unicorn's horn, so I'm sorry if you're offended. I then spray painted the, what used to be a unicorn with the same silver platinum spray paint I got from the Dollar General. That's a wine bottle I spray painted. And then of course we have our 14 hands. I don't know if you're aware, but the 14 hands wine is the official wine of the Kentucky Derby and I am much more a wine than a bourbon person. Now this is just another fun fact. The soft drink, it's a, it is a soft drink, although it is called Ale 8, is actually made in my hometown of Winchester, Kentucky, so we wanted to have a shout out to them. And for me personally, no derby party is a derby party without mint juleps, and those are bourbon balls, followed by a fabulous hat. I actually had this uh, white beach hat that I wrapped the same red ribbon I used on my other decorations and I use the same fake flowers, and voila, you have my Kentucky Derby hat. All right, guys, if you have questions, comments, leave them for me. Thumbs up or thumbs down, it doesn't matter. Just give it a thumb, and I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks, bye.